Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elise's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make vegetarian nacho bake. What's a nacho bake you might ask? Well, it's basically we make a vegetarian burrito mix, place it on the bottom of a baking pan and then we top it with corn tortilla chips and then we top it with cheese and we bake it. It's going to be delicious. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. 800 grams of red kidney beans and 400 grams of black beans. I use these canned. I've just rinsed them under some water and drained them of all the fluid. One large brown onion diced. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. I've got some herbs in this one. You can just use plain as well. One large carrot diced. Two stalks of celery, also diced. Two cloves of garlic, crushed. 800 grams of crushed tomatoes. One tablespoon of cumin. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of dried coriander. One tablespoon of smoked paprika. One pinch of chili powder. This is optional, but it gives it a good taste. Half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then salt and pepper to taste. One large red capsicum and this has been de-seeded, chopped into small little squares or cubes. One vegetable stock cube. You can also use chicken stock cube if you use the Massel brand stocks. It's actually all vegetarian. It's about 150 grams of cheese. Now, let's be honest, some of you are gonna eat some of this. You might like to be extra cheesy with your nacho bake, in which case, go for as much cheese as you want. And then we've got about 500 grams of uh, tortilla triangles or just regular corn chips. Ours look like this. Is yummy. And then we've got oil for frying. I'm gonna be using about one tablespoon. So what we're going to do first is heat up one tablespoon of olive oil into a large frying pan. And we're going to brown our onions for about five minutes until they're nice and translucent and have a brown color. To add about half a teaspoon of salt over the onions while they're browning. This just helps bring out any excess moisture and helps brown the onions quicker. So once your onions are nice and brown, add the garlic and cook it for about one minute until it becomes fragrant. Then we're going to add the carrot and celery and cook for about two minutes until it's soft. Then we're going to add the capsicum, beans, and the crushed tomatoes. And finally, add your chicken stock cube, spices and tomato paste. And then season with salt and pepper to taste. Stir and bring it up to the boil. Then we're going to reduce it down to a medium low heat. Cover and allow it to lightly simmer for about 20 minutes until all the vegetables are softened. Okay, so now that our mix is finished, what we're going to do is put it in the base of a baking pan and then we're going to top it with our delicious tortilla chips and then sprinkle it at the top with cheese and then we're going to cook it in an oven at 180 degrees Celsius or about 355 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes just until it's nice and golden bubbly on top. Depends on your oven. Okay guys, so that's how you make my vegetarian nacho bake. I'm so excited to try this. It smells amazing. Flavia is as well. Um, but yes, oh my God, let's, let's eat, let's do it. I'm so excited. Like the cheese is beautiful and golden and stringy. You just get a good old amount of it, put it in your gob. Here we go, ready? Okay, let's do this, yes. Because uh, so you know with nachos, they always go really soggy. This way, you still have some really crunchy chips. Mm. Yeah, it's so nice. 
And like, whoever mm. said vegetarian meals can't be delicious is lying to you. They lie. This is really good. Oh, I would eat this for days. Mm. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you want us to make any other food or recipes from anime, manga, TV shows, movies, games, let us know. Comment in the section below. Message us on social media. Talk to our faces. We're pretty friendly, so if you want to. Um, but yeah, so see you next time. Bye! Bye.